I really hate that they couldn't see your dance moves there, GE. Uh, I'm not hearing you, GE. Nope. Can you guys hear? I hear you. Oh shit! Sorry, I uh, I was muted. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I I don't know why you would you would like my dancing. I mean, it looks like I'm double fisting two big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So so hopefully, guys, welcome back. By the way, uh, if you're following from the last stream, hopefully this one won't drop. Please let us know in the live chat if everything looks good. Um, I saw that Nathan has just. Uh, he's just dialed in too, so I will put him on the screen here in just a second. Uh, G, anything that you want to say starting out before we uh, hand it over to? No, uh, well, I mean, I don't really know what to expect uh, uh, from tonight, although I am interested to see what topics come up. It's always interesting to hear new topics, so hopefully we can we can talk about some new things tonight. But uh, you know, I'm not. I know that I'm not here to have the argument. Uh, or the debate, rather, the discussion. Uh, it's up to fight the flat Earth and uh, his opponent, which I'm I'm not exactly all that um, uh, well versed with or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm excited. Awesome. Okay, uh, fight the flat Earth. Do you want to explain how things are kind of kind of go while I get Nathan set up? Yeah. Um, before we get going, I uh, just want to say two things. Um, Scotty Storm's in the chat, and you know he was invited here, but. Um, He's bitch made, and also um, Celtic um, three seven whatever your name is, who's been bugging me in the chats with the same question over and over and over. Um, again, I've already told you this, but now I'm going to do it live in front of all these people. If you want um, gas pressure without a container, please explain to me how an aircraft maintains lift, and also what a storm slash weather system is, because. Both of those things are gas pressures maintained without a container. Stop asking the same dumbass question over and over. We're just going to ignore the answer. All right, so um, David is someone that um, I actually knew on Facebook before I even started Fight the Flat Earth and is probably one of the reasons why I started the channel along with everything else. Um, he, he's pretty well known around the Facebook groups. Um, David, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, yeah, I, I have the well. I have a little introduction on the slideshow. Um, but but basically, let me see. Um, a little bit about myself. I mean, my name is David. I live in in Los Angeles, California. I've been uh studying the flat Earth since uh, 2015. That's when I started becoming aware of it. Started looking at it. Um, I was uh, born and raised in California. My my I actually before I start, I was of course I was a globe believer. Um, my dad my dad used to work at Lockheed over here in Burbank, California. That's where. I knew a lot. Of, I was, I mean, learned a lot about the heliocentric model, I guess, and um, uh, mainly from you know, because my dad, my dad worked on the SR seventy one. He worked on a couple other different planes, and so kind of, I was. That's that's the kind of mentality I was in until two thousand fifteen when I changed, changed and started um, started looking to the flat Earth and know that it's real. The flat Earth is real, and there, there's a deception out there. People are just getting deceived. And um, right. I mean, that's basically um, that's that's what we have on the goal. So uh, me and David have talked be, uh, beforehand. Um, we uh, agreed that, that Nathan um, Thompson would um, uh, moderate the debate. Thank you, Nathan, for coming on and doing that. Um, Kyle, did you get that video that I sent you earlier on Twitter? Let me do that while you continue to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I don't know if you saw Nathan, but I did a, a video on Wednesday along with Team Skeptic where um, we put the UK against the USA as to who they, they thought was uh, the dumbest. Um, uh, and you were the USA's and UK's Nathan. After the video, there was a, a vote on my channel, um, which had about a thousand votes. And uh, Kyle, will play the video now, which you have the result of that to say which country's Nathan was voted as the dumbest. So I think you might like the results actually. I'll just get that queued up. Yeah, it's going to take me just a second. Yeah. yeah. 
Can Nathan hear you actually? Nathan, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Right, guys. cool. Just checking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, GE, why don't you uh, tell us uh, something funny while I download this video real quick? Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, Nathan, actually, there is somebody in the chat that, uh, named Sean Hawkins. Do you know that name? Doesn't sound familiar, no. Okay, well, he he um, he's in there saying how uh, you challenged him to a debate, or he challenged you, and you seem to not, you know, go through with it. And I'm just wondering, like, if if I, if that like rings a bell at all. Is that that guy who claims to be a flat earther and then went back to being a globe earther and only wants to talk about the Bible? No, that's no, clear I doubt cognition. It. I'm good to go when when y'all are. By the way. Okay. Yeah, All right. I anyway, so the, the 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 results of the vote as to whose countries Nathan was the dumber, UK or USA. We're living on a disc, floating through space with a tiny sun. Oh, There we go. So, uh, Nathan, you are not the dumbest, Nathan, apparently. So, um, that must feel pretty good. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> anyway, right. So, yeah, me and David spoke beforehand and we agreed that Nathan Oakley, uh, Nathan, sorry, Nathan Thompson would moderate the debate. Um, uh, David, you say you've got an uh, introduction on some slides and stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah, um, All right, yeah, yeah. Do you want to just start by going through that? And then... Yeah, I just thought I was briefly talk a little bit about myself. Um, you know, uh, currently right now I'm, I, I work in sales, I do, um, but beforehand I was, I, um, did some work with the U.S. Navy Seabees, uh, did some underwater, underwater welding. Uh, I did, did a lot of reading, a lot of studying, um, in, uh, in that area. So I mean, I'm kind of, kind of familiar with the, with the globe model and how everything works. Um, but like, like I said, 2015, when I started looking into the flat earth, uh, uh, mainly the, just the, the main points that I really want to go over is, um, is, uh, if you, if, you, is the special up? You have a special up? Yeah, I can do that. If you look at the second page. Okay. The, uh, second one page. Right after the second page. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is basically my points that I want to really go into today. I mean, I mean, um. It's gonna be just basic stuff. I mean, not, nothing crazy. But um, like I said, my name is David, and I plan to provide evidence that has proven to me and many others that we live on a flat stationary plane. My object objective is to help convey this evidence so that everyone can understand. But before getting to the evidence, we need to understand that there is a deception runs deep, and uh, to overcome the deception, deception at least for these couple hours, I'm going to ask for a few things from everyone. Just humbly listen to what I have to say with an open mind. Understand what I say, even though you might not believe it, it is possible. Understand that the celestial bodies in the sky are anything that does not physically touch the ground we walk on has no influence on the shape of the earth. I don't subscribe to any model since we don't need a model to show that the ground we walk on is a plane. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to go over. And um, it's kind of short, but that's that's what I got so far. Okay. Okay. Um. Just carry on with your, your presentation now, and then we can just have a back and forth afterwards. That's fine. You can go All right, so if, uh, uh, number four. Number four. Uh, number four just is the general concepts of the flat earth. Um, let's see. There, number one is there has been no measured curvature anywhere in the world. Water has, has no convexity, no bumps, no curves. Water allegedly covers 71% of the earth. And no curvature, so there's no curvature equals level flat plane. The Earth is stationary. There's no experiment that shows the flat Earth is moving. And then if you go on to the next, the next one, the next one just um lists a bunch of evidence, and the links are to exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, number one is uh the 146 mile microwave transmission proves a flat Earth. That's over there in the Mediterranean where they have where they um they 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 have that the record of um. Transmitting a microwave uh, a signal across, across the Mediterranean, and it's 146 
with no inter um, no interruptions, no nothing in between. It's just straight connection. And then um, got a Monterey Bay. There was a um, observations done right there. This was kind of different from any, anything else. It was uh, done with a with a mirror reflection, sh showing that there's no um no refraction or anything like that. With the mirror reflection, there can't be any any refraction. And the same thing happened with the Salton Sea. And um, these are the the miles and. So like Monterey Bay, Monterey Bay was 13 miles, then Salty Sea was nine miles, and um, those are those are just observations. And uh, if you go to number four, number four is um is uh these are documents from the U.S. military, uh, showing that they they have antennas that go well the, the one that uh, number four in particular that goes um anywhere from 100 to 1,000 meters, uh, radiating antenna, and it, it just shows that there's no interruptions. There's and they specifically say that they're working on a flat stationary plane. Uh, number five is the uh, Chicago skyline uh, view from 60 miles. Everybody knows that one. Then um, go to the next page. Uh, let's see. The uh, this, um, Army document. Army equations assume a flat Earth. This is just a trajectory of spinning um, projectiles. And they're they're specifically talking about um, it, the test. That, or the, what they're doing is uh, on a stationary flat plane. Uh, we have NASA rocket trajectory. Uh, problem solved with a non-rotating Earth, uh, and basically they had they had some issues, but they solved the issues, um, putting out their equations to be on a flat stationary plane. Uh, number three is no Coriolis effects, and, and um, this is something I, I went over a lot. I went over in depth, and it basically it talks about that there's um, the flight manuals for for um, for air, air uh, pilots. They don't they don't have anything dealing with the Coriolis effect. And then also um, military rifle manuals don't have anything that, that talks about Coriolis effects, so they don't compensate for it. And, um, and so basically if there's no, if they're not compensating for it, then it, it doesn't exist, right? I mean, I, I know the Coriolis effect does exist. It's a, it's a real phenomenon, but not on the earth. It doesn't ex exist on the earth. And um, so that, that just proves that the earth is not moving it's stationary. Uh, number four is Army Quake. This is uh, another uh, document, Army document showing the flat earth and just saw a trajectory for uh, spinning projectiles and let's see number five is uh the null range uh, it's a uh, some some uh, mountain peaks the distances between um there there's three mountain peaks and there's distances between 100 100 miles in between that shows no curvature i have the lincoln has the picture on it right there where it, it um it shows no curvature and then uh if we go to the next the next one um the bolivia the bolivia salt mines which is uh, 4, 4,086 square miles end to end. It's 80 miles, and there's less than three feet of deviation from. From there's only there's only three feet of um, of difference between the the height and altitude, and uh, that's in Bolivia. And then we got the Suez Canal, which is 120 miles long, and it has no locks, meaning that the water is, is straight and flat and level. There's no locks, so that so basically it's it's flat and level. So there. Not having locks, there's no, they're not compensating for any curvature, it's just straight flat. And then uh, we talk about plane surveyors, never have to take into account for any curvature. Um, then we got the the bump gutter jump, which is 128,000 feet. Um, proves the station earth since he jumped over New Mexico. Uh, when he when he started, he started in New Mexico and landed in New Mexico, so there's there was no movement. I mean, it should have been he should have landed somewhere else, maybe in the ocean. Or, I don't know exactly where he should have landed if it was moving, but. That's that's what that is. Um, and then uh, if we want to get into gravity later, but that's that's something else. I was I was just working on that. But that that's everything that I got. Okay. Did you want right, to talk okay. about your grab your points with gravity right there? Um. That yeah, we can if we get into it more. But I just want to address the first part first. Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. Goodness me, where where to start? Um. Well, the first off, the statement that. To understand the Earth, you know, looking at this, the things in the sky has no relation as to the shape of the Earth. I would completely disagree with that because the what happens in the sky and around us can tell us a lot about where we are and what's going on. Um, to use a, a simple analogy, um, my friend Planner Walk gave the uh, example as you want to have a look at the shape of the room you're in, but you can't really tell because all your furniture is in the way. Best way to tell the shape of your room is to look at your ceiling. Right, that will give you more of an indication of what shape of a room you're in. 
And you can apply that to the, the, the movement of the celestial bodies. You can have a look at the, the movement in the celestial bodies throughout the sky, throughout the year, see how they move, and it's perfectly explained by the heliocentric model. Um, you know, n North Star with trails going around it, it's perfectly explainable because we are spinning and our axis aligns with the North Star, which is moving throughout the galaxy with us. Same thing happens in the, the southern hemisphere around Sigma Octanus. Um, so, you know, first of all, yeah, I would completely contest that statement to of understand that the sky doesn't show us what shape of the world we're on. Um, so there's that. Um, they're saying that there's never been a detectable curvature or a measured curvature. I, again, would very much disagree with that statement. Jaronism measured one himself, but um, ignoring the mistakes of flat Earth core, um, many photos recently have been taken that are completely impossible on a flat Earth, including the observations of Terrapin Law uh, in Scotland by Miles Davis, um, the observations that uh, Conspiracy Cats talked about with Mount Rainier, um, uh, and there's many, many more. These all show that there is observable and measurable curvature because you can see the distances and the heights of things, and the photos prove that that can't happen on a flat Earth. Um, water doesn't curve. I would very much disagree with that, but my explanation for that comes down to gravity, so we can get into that later. Um, again, the no experiment that shows that we're moving, uh, every single mechanical gyroscope that is accurate enough shows um, a 15 degree per hour shift, which correlates with reality of 24 hours a day. Um, the microwave tower transmissions that you were talking about, yeah, um, you probably need to do the math on the height of the towers, which are well over 200 foot, and the um, distances were completely explainable that you would be able to see these things. Um, the mirror refraction um, tests were completely explainable, again, on our model, understanding how refraction works. Um, I suppose the question I have to ask you is, do you think that refraction is a thing? Yeah, refraction is a, is a thing. I mean, but but uh, I mean, as far as the, the you can't get refraction off a mirror, off of looking at a to view a mute a mirror from one side of one side of the the um the the what is it the, the area of the water. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see a mirror. It is the light that bends. That, but you, you can't see that the, that's not a light. Right. Okay. Guys, um, isn't the most sorry? Yeah, go on, light refraction. Like, what, what, are you pretending that light well, refraction yeah, it, is it, it, anything? Light refraction, it, light refracts down, which makes things appear higher than they are. So that, that is the most common if form, but, you know, not the only way refraction can happen. If it's refracting down, pushing things behind the curvature, bite the flat earth. No, if, it, if light refracts down, it will make down, things appear down. higher. If, if, if the light's refracting down, yes. it's going to make the things that you're looking at appear higher than they are. That's your argument, is that the air is causing things to appear above the curvature? No, that's not my argument. I'm just explaining how refraction works. I, I, I know how refraction works. But... I've never seen anything come above a horizon because of refraction, and I've been running a flat earth group for three years. Refraction pulls things behind the curvature. That's why you can't see the bottoms of buildings. It's not curvature. So if you're going to sit there and say refraction is why you can see a mirror 13 miles away when they're standing on the shoreline of one side of the lake, looking at a mirror on the shoreline of another side of the lake, dude, you're delusional. No, I'm, I'm explaining to you how refraction works. That's all. <laughs> when refraction, you you're giving when the refraction makes light bend perfect. down, which makes things appear higher than they are. If they're bending down, why would they come up? They're bending down. The You're not making any sense, dude. Right. Think about how the light would interact with the atmosphere when go, it is going through. Let's say they go down, but come up. You can't say that. If, if they go down, they yeah, go down. Okay. That's not up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look, 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 listen. If, Nathan, if you are going to ask Fight the Flat Earth a question, you have got to let him answer instead of just continuously talking, okay? Yeah, 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 I just want, I, uh, 
I got you. I, I didn't know what my role I, is. I, I understand really what you're thinking, Nathan, technique. but you're you're miss you're you're yeah. thinking uh, the wrong way round. The the refract is causing the light to to bend down, which is making things appear higher because it's bringing it above where it should be. Does that? Okay, do you not all the it's listeners simple... heard you say that. Got it. All the listeners just heard you say it bends down but comes up, and they're all going to be like, "Wow, that sounds really stupid. I should look into that some more." So go ahead, continue. Okay, it's cool. It's, um, you know, I understand how refraction works, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, you know, um, so, you know, the, you can't deny that refraction exists and it can make things appear higher than they are because that's how light interacts with a, when you have a denser medium. So, um, okay. When you look at the, well, basically, basically saying you can't pull it over a curvature. If it, if it's, if you can't see it, then how are you pulling it over? You can't see it in the first place. But you're saying that you could see it because it's, it's, it's pulling behind over the curvature. You're like pulling something behind something that's hidden. I'm not saying it's pulling it over the curvature. It is literally bending the light and making it appear higher than it actually is. You, you're not. Um, it's not bringing it over the curvature. You are just seeing the bending of the light. You know, if you were talking about the observation of the Chicago skyline, you know, if it was a flat earth, then that should be seen all the time. The fact that that was an observation that you only get once in a no, while. No, it shouldn't. Be, I mean, it's it's different weather be, conditions. Like, every day, there's different weather conditions. They're not all the same weather conditions every day. It, it, exactly my point. But um, on a flat earth, there, you would be able to see it all the time. No, no, you wouldn't. Okay, that unless, was unless light, 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 that, that, that day was different. That day just a good day that they were able to see it. But there's weather conditions that that happen all the time. I mean, they're different all the time, especially especially over that lake. That lake gets it gets cold, and 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 you know, yeah. there's different temperatures throughout the, throughout the year. And and what I mean, we're gonna see. We're gonna we're talk, what you're talking about is is shouldn't even happen when it's cold. It happens when it's when it's hot. But in any case, oh, but there's different it, weather it's conditions. Not just like, when it's not it's all. It's um, refraction happens when you, that's, that's, you know, water tends to have a colder, denser layer above it. Right, right, that's okay, the so ideal anyway, time so, when um, happens. Yeah, I mean, we, we both agree that that observation only happened under ideal conditions, right? Is that right, fair I mean, to say? Yeah, because the, the, it was clear, the weather was clear, yeah. they were able to see it. So the, the question is which way is the light refracting? And the consensus of science and physics says that it will bring what is behind the curve up because of the way that the light is bending down and you see something behind the curve more. That. You said the consensus of science. I mean, I, I, even, even in experiments that doesn't happen, we say the consensus of science, what's that at? Right, let, let me, give me one sec. So, a drawing like the same consensus of consensus of science, I mean, Okay. Uh, Guys, when I was at the salt experiment with National Geographic, there were islands on the other side of the lake that were disappearing throughout the day because there was more aqueous particles going into the atmosphere that were distorting our ability to see across. Like, uh, and so if, well, how come if refraction brings things above the curvature, when there's more water in the air, it's harder to see? Wouldn't it be easier to see things behind the curvature if there's more air, more water in the air, not harder to see? No, I've it's never, literally the other way around. Okay. Uh, all I mean, I've ever seen is when more aqueous particles in the air, things disappear behind the curve faster. They do not reappear faster. They, what do you mean they disappear faster, but they don't reappear faster? Uh, what are you talking about there? I'm what I'm saying that there's a... What, there's a there's an illusion of curvature caused by the air. So when the air is more dense, um, there, there's or there's more aqueous particles in the air. One, it's harder to see through. There's more fog and, and dust and mist in the air. But two, there's there's a greater amount of refraction taking place. So like I have pictures of buildings on the other side of lakes when it's crystal clear, and then when there's lots of air particles in the air, you can't even see the buildings. So if if, if refraction is causing buildings to come above the curve, then how come when there's lots of refraction, the buildings disappear? When there's lots like, of refraction, the, the buildings... 
atmospheric conditions um, aren't always the same. So when there's zero... Yeah, of course atmospheric conditions aren't always the same. And, and so well, how would you determine when there is zero refraction? Well, when the you air know, is really dry and it's the air on the other side is yeah. being distorted. And when you do observations when, when there's zero refraction, everything that's ever done is comported with the, the fact that we live on a globe of a circumference of 25,000 miles in circumference. No, like, no. Have you, have you seen the observations from Miles Davis? Have you, have you seen the observations I, I, from Miles I, I, Davis just, in Scotland? I haven't looked at Miles Davis. I haven't looked at Miles Davis. I listed about 10 or 15, I don't know how many I listed right there, but I listed a bunch of them. That and that and some of them not even have to deal with uh, atmospheric um, refraction. Like like you said the the mic like about something about the microwave that that um what did you say something about that we're we're able to see, but that's not that's not the point. The point is the connection between the between the two satellite between the two antennas. And and I mean if you even go on to that the meta book site, they tried to debunk it and they couldn't. There's a there's a long a long thread right there and them talking and trying to go over it. And the final thing they say is is oh well well the, it has to be round, but we just don't know what's going on here. I mean, I mean, they tried to debunk it for they were, for for days. They were trying to debunk it. They never debunked it. Right. Well, I haven't been on that thread. I wouldn't wouldn't know about it. But every single um, like, for instance, Eric debates two hundred proofs, right, of all those lighthouses and stuff. Right. Every single well, I'm not one of those lighthouses. I'm talking about what I listed here. Right, I mean, no, these I'm are the ones that, that I know about. As, as, I'm just using as an example that when the maths is done properly and the information is put correctly into the curve calculator then it always comports with the reality that we live on a globe um i, I mean you might have to get into that i don't, I don't, I don't know use the curve calculator correctly which would be a thing um i mean all of the things that you've given me are basically oh i can see this thing i can see that thing i can see this thing i can see that thing well, it's that, all that's, that's what frankly, I'm saying. Yeah, frankly, it. Yeah, but, but all of these things have been simply debunked already it that there is well, you know, I, just gave, I just gave you one right now that wait, hasn't wait, been wait. debunked the men, the men don't fight well they, they tried to debunk it but they never did I mean, I mean, and that's all. That's all we need. Like you talk about celestial bodies and all that stuff. Oh, what, what that, 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 that tells you what we are. That, that's the that that place that we live on, but it doesn't right. tell yeah, us what we live on. The observations tell us that it's not. Sorry, which one was it? So I can, I, I, I would need to do my own research on that particular thing, um, because um, I can guarantee um, you it would have been debunked so far. Um, well, I, I mean, there's 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 Yes. Yeah. So, how tall were those towers? I, 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 what I remember, they were fifty. They were fifty. Um, I can't remember. Nope. They they were two hundred and twenty feet. Yeah, but but the, but the, but the point the point is is not how high they were. It's, it's the fact is that they were able to get, they were able to get that connection. There would be there would be there would be um, yeah, and curvature that they were. They, they were able to see it. They were they were two hundred and twenty feet, but they got, they and got again, this is some this is a one that has been debunked. They were two hundred and twenty feet. That's where the transmissions were coming from, and it was able to see the other towers that were in alignment with it. This this is not difficult things, David. These are all things that have been simply debunked, you know. And it's it's all um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's all anecdotal stuff about pictures that have all been debunked already. Um, it's simply 20 seconds of, of, of searching for the mirror of refraction. I can tell you Greater Sapien has debunked the mirror of refraction thing. Um, the, the Chicago skyline goddess engineers debunked that, I'm pretty much. The microwave tower transmissions has been done on many, many um, different channels. These are all things that you could have just looked up. And if you want to talk about all the military no, documents, um, the one thing that we can say about them is that you haven't read the entire documents. The entire document, yeah, read, read the because they do not say. I read the that, no, you haven't. Well, then you would if you've read the entire documents, you would know that they are in no way talking about a flat Earth. They are using a stationary reference frame to do basic calculations, but the rest of the document makes it quite clear that all the technology works on a globe. I mean, you actually need to read the entire thing and not okay. just the cherry picked parts. All right, hold on. I want, I want to get back. I want to get back to you. I want to get back to the microwave thing. So, so you, you said it was like two hundred, like it was two hundred and something. I don't know high, but we're looking, we're looking at they were only fifty feet high. Up. They said okay, they were only it was mounted up only fifty feet above sea level. That that was it. 
There's nothing more than that. All right, can you send me then? Because that's not the one that I've seen. Yeah, the link. But the link. Either way, well, we're, I don't know if you can get it or not. miles, shouldn't there be right. seven thousand feet of curvature? Like, why, why does it matter if they're hundred feet or two hundred feet tall? Uh, shouldn't there be like seven thousand feet of curvature in between the towers? The so why are we arguing if it's the way that the curvatures work? Uh, is completely comports with reality. If you, you, I would need to for you yeah, to show cool. me the, the maths showing the what height they are, how far away they are, and why it doesn't work on a globe. Because you would need to also explain how microwave transmissions actually work, so that you would understand how that. I, I mean, they, 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 they already told me that there would be curvature in the way. I mean, that, I already said that. That's that's why I used it as one of my proofs, not not a joke proof. But when you actually look into it, it proves the globe, is my point. Um, let me just... I looked into I it. I looked into it. I, I, I went through, I, if, you look at the, if you look at the whole uh, thread, when they're trying to debunk it, the, the, the last thing that they say, the last thing they say is, uh, oh, well, I, I don't know what's going on, but, uh, it, but it has to be a boss. Something has to be wrong here. That's that's what they say, but I mean, they, right. they didn't give you no explanation. I mean, I'll, I'll just literally search here and see what comes up. Do, do, do. The 146 mile transmission. Oh, no, li you say Metabunk haven't got it, but there's literally, I've just gone on to Metabunk and they're, they're all showing that they... Yeah, read, it, the whole, read the whole thing. They, they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out how we're, they're, they're trying to say maybe maybe it's higher because it, the the... The altitude, the, the altitude was higher, or whatever. Like, because there's a, it's a, it's a rocky beach wherever those those towers are, and they're they're, they're trying to say that it, that it's not 50 feet above sea level. It's higher, but they never they never get that information. They never, it's 50 feet above. So that's what it is, and they're trying to figure out what what um, if they're trying to say it's higher, but it's not, and they go through the whole thing. If you read the whole thing, they're they're trying they're trying to figure out what's going on, but there's nothing that's wrong with it. Uh, well, there's also. No information of where they got the details of it being fifty feet high, as far as I can see. Um, from from the website, from the company website, it's exalt exalt dot com. Let's see, track those link. I'm just reading the article now. One sec. <clears throat> Uh, our deployment uses just one radio each end of the link and we link over water which creates significant transmission problems for ordinary microwave radios. Uh, they're designed to significantly reduce required antenna diameter if featured in the industry only field replaceable diplexers, explorer systems, offer dynamic TC. Okay, so actually when you go into the link and look at, there's an article about Yahoo Finance uh, that then has sources that link to the um, information about the construction of them and it explains that the record is completely expected and explained on a flat earth and th that's just like with some in you know basic basic research this particular thing I would have to research more into it and do my own math but I, you can't use this David like I said that was just I mean, literally one two minutes of me searching and looking for an answer, and, I, and yeah. I'm pretty sure I've just found it. But I would have to do there's my own investigation and math on that. But from what I've seen, you can't use that as a proof because That's there's no definitive answer of the height of what was happening the, and everything like that. So, um, there, all there, the links there's right there that there's are, like, but if you're trying to look for something more than, than the, the, what is it, what's there. Like you're trying to look for more. You're trying. You're just trying to grasp straws at it. I mean, no, they're trying to right there. I mean, you can look at it all you want. But again, I would have to do my own investigation into that whole thing. But from what I've literally just searched it for 20 seconds, there was five, six, seven pages that say that it was debunked. Um, that, that, so, what does it say it's debunked? It, says, it, says it, go, it goes along with the joke. I mean, but that's what we all say. That's, that's what we all, everybody says that. Like, that's, that's like, that's like, all, all they're doing is playing mind fucks with everybody. They're, yeah, but when reality comports with sorry, seems to drop out there. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I mean, 
looking going on that's the whole game that they do that's part of the deception i mean they're gonna say they're gonna say they're gonna say things with their words but what the reality is different than what they say you say it's part of the deception but actually it I'm, i'm reading it now david and it literally explains everything and how it comports with reality um all right yeah it's not a flat earth reality it does yeah i definitely agree with that okay all right i will say that yes you're right they were so i'm gonna have to look into this completely to get a definitive answer but as far as i can and, see well, it is answered we can, we can in, that and I, i'll definitely give you time to look at it i mean you can look at give all the time in the world because you, you, there's nothing that's gonna you know find different but but I'll, I'll, then we could go to some another thing but uh we can talk about the the bolivian salt flats where where they 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 actually use to measure to to uh, measure the altitude they use satellites and i mean i think satellites are different than what you think but i know there's something in the air i don't know what it is but there is something out there but but they're supposed to calibrate calibrate their 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 uh, measurements for the satellite and and, and they it has it tells you right there how how big how long they are how big they are and then it it, only, it only, it's only a, a three a three feet difference between in, in altitude from um from uh, the bolivian salt flats and it's like 80 miles right. from yeah. from one inch from the distance wise is 80 miles i mean it's a it's a total of four so, four thousand square feet but... let, let me ask you this Go ahead. um does land have contours i'm sorry i'm sorry does, does land that? have contours does land have contours what, what do you mean by that is there bit you know the land isn't always going to follow the curvature of the earth because land has contours it has bits that go up and bits that go down um right yeah i, get I mean I, I, don't, I don't really know what, what, you, what you're getting at with the bolivian salt flats right. when well, it's it's on it's on land mm -hmm. like well, basically land has saying, contours. No, no curvature like, and, and there but there's there's there there's examples like this all throughout the whole world i mean i mean there's no there's no you don't see we don't see any curvature you, i mean according to you you said there's measured curvature if there is then show me some measurements um with the the miles davis um observations there's plenty of measurements in that um measurements that show the distance okay, away okay, that okay. things are and how high they are i mean okay, you, okay, you, okay, so you have four one, one observation with miles davis guy no, i don't even I know what i have in front of me so i can't tell example, you well, i have, have one many, many like a few that i've listed i no, i said i don't have one i have many Rec i don't know if you've been paying attention but recently on youtube within the debunking community there's been a whole bunch of videos with photos and videos of things that would be impossible on a flat earth um like the mount rainier observations showing the angular size of you know mount rainier being impossible on a flat earth all the observations made by miles davis and many more all the um there was another channel I was thinking that was doing some, you know, there's been people going out to get these observations to, to try and find these things. So you say there isn't measurable, observable curvature. Yes, there is. And it's been found in the recent months and posted all over YouTube okay, then, with you easily verified. Sorry? Then I said you shouldn't have how? a problem showing these measurements if there is. Where's, where's the measurements at? Okay, well, um, or, or you, uh, if, you could go to Miles Davis's channel, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to do that for me? Just bring up Miles Davis's um, channel and we're showing the measurements. Give me just a second. Y'all can get, y'all can continue while I do this. It's gonna take me just a second. Um, yeah. So I mean, this constant thing of there isn't a measurable curvature. Well, when there is, I mean, you know about the tests that. J Jaronism did right with flat earth core yeah you can't man come on man you know you know you know that that was straight bs man he, he didn't he didn't you're trying to say that he 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 uh proved curvature with that you're talking about that light that he seen through the hole right Aye. is that what you're talking about yeah is that, is, is that what you're talking about the the light i, yeah. I mean there was there was yeah. pieces so, cut out of that thing man there, there, that, that was that's that wasn't even a that was whoever made that was lying was clearly de deceiving you guys that's what I'm talking about. There's the deception. That that video was clearly de deceived. You're being deceived. So, uh, so your only answer there is it's a deception. 
Yeah, because that's not what happened. You I, cut out there, there was cut those pieces that were put out. So, um, yeah, if you, I think, go go down in his videos. Uh, I'll tell you the name of the video. Two sex. Guys, if Jaron proved curvature, he wouldn't be a flat earther anymore. One second, Nathan. Oh, I'll, well, Randy we'll flat earther proves curvature all the time, and he keeps proving it. Uh, um, get through this, flat to so that I can put... Uh, I, I don't have enough, like, spaces. So this is taking Nathan's spot. So I don't know if they can hear okay. him or not. Yeah, I can hear Nathan. Um, okay. right, I just gave you the name of the, the video. It's a bit far back. Uh, do, 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 do. It's about two months ago, and it's called Flat Earth Destroyed with One Photograph. Flat Earth Destroyed with One Okay. Oh no, um, I'm mad. Okay, we're at in this video. Do you want me to go? All right, I'm just going to get you the tag now. Can we see? And then they ask the question four times. Uh, confirming what we know about their heights. We're looking uh, for the math. So wherever yeah, the it's all in is. here. Right, if you go to 2145. Okay. They don't agree right. perfectly. Right, um, basically, but what are you seeing here? Before all you flat earthers start to wet yourselves with excitement, and there is something else to take into account. I used Walter Bislin's curvature calculator in my original analysis of my um, photograph and video. Um, rather than using the method that they've used, I used Walter's calculator because it too takes into account angular right. size. Well, sorry, could you just the take it to five for... minutes twenty-two and just pause it there? Five twenty-two. Yeah. Right. So this image is basically what I was talking about, and it's verifiable by anyone. You can do the maths with the, the, the curve calculator. It's all been done further on in the videos. You, you can verify yourself. But what you're saying is the camera height was at 210 meters. And by the way, these bridges are literally just down the road for me, so I know they exist. The top of the, bri um, the bridge post in the middle is also at 210 meters. But the hills behind it are 500 meters. This is all above sea levels. So 210 meters above sea level, yet the things behind it, are 500 meters above sea level. So that there is observable, measurable curvature of the Earth. It, that's just perspective. The mountains are higher away, farther away. Nathan, what's the, um, what's, what's the law of perspective? Can you, can you tell me it mathematically? What was that? Can you tell me the mathematical law of perspective? Dude, all I'm saying is you can stand under a street light and at sunset... No, that's not why I asked, Nathan. I asked if you can... You said perspective, so I'd like you to tell me what perspective is. What is the mathematical law of perspective? Uh, I don't need to give you any numbers. I, need, I, can, always, I can tell you that this right, is how perspective wait, works. With, with respect, you asked me for math. You said, uh, where's the math? And now, now I'm asking you for the same courtesy? Uh, higher or lower than the bridge so that proves curvature dude the sun sets below that bridge that does not prove the sun goes below the the bridge at all it's a, it's a strong man argument you have no argument at all it's not it's whatsoever not dude no I, I absolutely do because the hills behind which are over 200 meters taller were below that thing and the only explanation for that yeah. Is that they are the sun, behind the, the curve. Sun is below and when that bridge. The sun is below the bridge. The sun is the sun 93 set, million miles away. Sun... That's different. <clears throat> so, um, and, you know. That's so funny. So, and when uh, an airplane goes uh, behind again, the you curve, said, you said perspective, Nathan, but you haven't told me what perspective is. 
Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I have to ask a question. Is, is Nathan here to moderate or debate? I just need to know. Well, I don't think he knows. I just, I just need to know. Let him debate. Why not? Wait, I, I mean, if he wants I to debate me, sure I will take them both on. Let's have some fun. I mean, I just want to make sure he's yeah. not lying you know to your audience. Yeah. Because... Well, I'm, I'm not lying to my audience because, you know, what I can do is I can tell the audience the mathematical law of perspective. You said it's perspective. So, Nathan, tell me what perspective is, please. Because I can tell you with math. Can, can you, you, when we went into the, the photo, you went, oh, I want to see the math. I showed you the math. So now I'd like you to do me the courtesy of telling me the math of perspective. No? Do you want me to do it for you? It's alpha equals 2r tan times g over 2r. Where alpha is the angular size of the object, g is the actual size of the object, and r is the distance to the object. Using this formula, you can calculate exactly how big things should be based on how far away they are. That is the law of perspective, not whatever you're talking about. I think he's gone away. Hmm. Let me see. So, so what were we saying? What were we saying about that? What, what was the? Yep. What was the? Um, what was that formula for? That's the 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 law of angular perspective. It's um, uh, alpha equals two r tan times g over two r, where a is the angular size of the object, g is the actual size of the object, and r is the distance to the object. You can use that formula to calculate how big things should be based on how far away they are. Gee, that's yeah. what. Yeah, but, but that, 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 that's all. Okay. Well, that, that, I mean, that, that might be general, but there's a lot of variables in there when you're looking at when, for perspective. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that, that would, um, that, that, that would distract, I mean, excuse me, distort it because, because there's so many variables. I mean, you, you don't, you, like I said, there's atmospheric conditions that, that get in the way. There's a lot of different things. I mean, that, that might be a general, but, <laughs> that's not that's not you said it's like 100 percent accurate that's not 100 percent accurate it was 210 meters above sea level there's not really going to be that that much refraction bothering it up there um and when you run it through and when you do the calculations based on how far away those hills are and the distance it appeared to be below the bridge in that photograph it comports exactly with the globe now, are you going to tell me that's just a coincidence? No, I mean, I mean, come on, the, the globe, the globe measurements. You guys, uh, what do you say? You guys been knowing the globe for like two thousand years was the number. You guys been having two thousand years to work out these formulas. It better be right. Shit. Well, that's how science I mean, works. I mean, have two thousand years to get it right, and damn, you better get it right. Okay, yeah, but how long have computers been around? How long has technology like this been around? How long has the ability to people, accurately people measure and wait for computers? People have been doing math waiting for computers. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, that doesn't right. mean anything. For computers, we couldn't figure things out as well as we do now. We now have the technology and the ability to accurately measure these things. And you can't tell me that there is over 200 meters of that mountain just missing for no reason. All right? I didn't say it was missing. No, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't care if you a picture, but... Like you can, uh, I, I, I'd love for you to watch that entire thing. I am going to do my research into this microwave tower thing because as an intellectually honest you know, person with a critical mind, that's what I want to do. I want to understand why the flat earthers think this is a, a proof. And I promise you, well, I will get back to you with a different answer about the microwave tower. But in the same way, you have to be able to do the same. And you would need to go and look at that entire video in which he explains the distances on Google Maps um, he shows it bit on in um, a, a model that would be what flat earth and globe earth is. He does all the explanations as to why the mountains appear like that. And it all comports with the reality that we live on the globe. And it can't just be a coincidence that it works every time. I, I didn't say it was a coincidence. I mean, I, yeah, I'll get, I'll get the measurements and look at it. I'm not going to look at the video. I'll just get the facts from it. But I mean, you guys spread a lot of problem in the first place. I mean, I'll just get, I'll get the facts from it and take a look at it. Okay. Well, you know, that that does cover a flat earth. All right. I'd like to move away from refraction and, and stuff uh, and distances and because there's obviously a disconnect in understanding what perspective and refraction is. So can we take this back to a couple of more basic things? 
And let me ask you two questions, all right? Do you agree that there is a pressure gradient in our atmosphere going less dense as you get up? Then going less, is that what you said? Yeah, the higher up you go, the less dense the atmosphere is, yeah? Is, do you agree with that? Yeah. Yep. Is yep. there a downward accelerating force of 9.8 meters per second squared? Uh, a downward what force? Is the, do things fall at 9.8 meters per second squared? Yeah, that's, that's what it's supposed to acceleration. Yeah, right. So it's acceleration. You're agreeing it's acceleration, right? When, when things fall down, they're accelerating, yeah? yeah? Exactly. Okay. It's not. Um, kind of okay, one more, question. one more question. One more question. Does acceleration require a force? Force, yes. Pressure. That, for, that force right there, what you're specifically talking about is from pressure. Right. So, let me, right. So, you're going with the buoyancy density argument for, for replacement of gravity with things falling, that, yeah? That's, that's part of it. That, 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 that's part of the whole thing that's going on, but it's not the whole thing. Okay. Well, what else, what else is it apart from density and buoyancy, according to you? Just quickly, I mean, I can debunk the whole density buoyancy thing in about well, 30 seconds, but what else is it? Well, if you, uh, density and buoyancy, how are you going to debunk it? Those are, those are facts, truths. That, I mean, you, it's scientifically proven. You can't yeah. debunk density. Okay, here we go. God the same oh, You've seen this one, haven't you? You've seen me do this before. <laughs> Right. David, David, look at this book, right? Right. So when I, I, I let know, go I of this book, you're saying, but you're saying you're going to debunk density. That, that, I mean, yeah, I know what you're well, going to do. You're going to you say about gravity. I can debunk density being the reason for things falling. I, I, you I said do. you're going to be debunk density and buoyancy. That's not. That's not. I mean, I'm. I'm telling you that that what you think gravity is is not what you think it is. I, I mean, I mean, gra that's ma there's no mass right, attracting well, like, mass anywhere. Well, the, the Cavendish experiment proves that, and I've done the Cavendish experiment myself. Come on, um, the Cavendish experiment? You're, talk, you're talking about lead balls that they were looking at through a peephole, and they, they had they had to they had to. Uh, wait, I mean, there's so many variables. There's so many things that are wrong with that. Wait, Even the the the, 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 the constant D that they got from the Cavendish experiment is not the same constant D that they have today. Yeah, but that's again how science works. You improve and improve on things. The the, well, the, the Cavendish the experiment has not been so constant. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. The, the Cavendish experiment hasn't just been done once and forgotten about. Cavendish experiment is repeated more and more and more. It's it's repeated with and, uh, more it's never accuracy. The same. It's never the same. They gotta tell you something. Why, why do they keep on trying for something that over and over and it's never the same? They oh, are hold on, hold on, guys. Nathan's trying to say something. Sorry, Nathan's trying to say something. No. Okay, never mind. Um, sorry, where were we? It, yeah, it, 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 there's so many things that are wrong with the Cavendish experiment. I, I mean, they're, 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 the, the whole idea was they're supposed to el eliminate all the other things that are going, all the variables, and saying that gravity was the only thing that was affecting these lead balls. But that was that's impossible. That's impossible to do. You're, you're, you're saying that you're, what, what they're trying to picture is a lead ball like floating because there's no other forces around it. I, I mean, that, 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 that's a bunch of crap. Don't think you really understand what the Cavendish experiment is. Well, I understand what it I mean, is. I understand you, you, you what it is. You know that you can literally do this yourself, right? You can yeah, literally you can do, yourself, do the Cavendish it experiment. Make sense. It doesn't make and sense. It, the Cavendish experiment is, it shows, is, not, is not gravity. Yes, it is. It shows that there's mass attracting mass. That's the purpose of the Cavendish experiment. And that's how science works. You, once you have a theory and a hypothesis, you experiment to test it. And to test the theory of the mass attracting mass, tell you the Cavendish the experiment. experiment. Well, Nathan, I'm not sure that you can search and show the experiment itself. You want me to show it to you right now whilst I'm sitting here? Don't be a fool. No, I want you did it. Nathan, no, you when, when you did, did it, Nathan, yeah, I've done a degree in physics. Did. I've done many things. I've served on a submarine. I don't okay, have so that in my house with me. 
Yeah. You, you don't have proof, right? You just got empty claims. No, I've. So you said you I'm not the it. only one that's done the Cavendish experiment, it, Nathan. I can show I can't you, show you right now because I don't you have it in my house. Papers. Okay, all right. Yeah, you Nathan. didn't video it. All right, how convenient. How convenient. You didn't Nathan. record it. All right, cool. So we'll just, we're supposed to just believe Nathan. you because you got a degree that you did it. Like, are you in Nathan, shed? are you going to shut up so I can respond to you? You're in Dale's shed, aren't you? Nathan, this is not your echo chamber, so don't treat it like one, okay? All right. So, Nathan, Nathan, shut up and let me speak. Nathan, shut up, all right? I have not photographed every moment of my entire life. And if you must know, in the past two years, I've moved house three times, okay? Of course, not everything with me. I did the fucking Cavendish experiment many years ago, but you know what? You can go and literally on Amazon and buy your own Cavendish experiment and do it yourself. And you know what? Actually, so I can... part of my channel is something I'm going to be doing as well. I'm looking at your proof. Right. Let me ask, right, Nathan, can I ask you a question, All right? Nathan, let me potato? ask you a question, right? Well, why are you on a potato? Um, That's the number you, one question. Oh, yeah, why are you recording on a potato? But also, because I can't show you something right now that somebody else has done, does that mean it isn't real? No. Because I don't have it. with me right now. Yes, I've, I, I've done the Cavendish you experiment more than once. But do you think I have it in okay, my house? Cool. I served on, Nathan, Nathan, I served on a submarine for many years. <laughs> But can I can I show you that right now? You sound like a mental person. Somebody didn't pull up. Can you just, Kyle, can you just mute him because he's just kind of like in and out babbling, really. Sure. Right. Hey, anyway, hey, hey, so, you, so you, did you work you worked on a submarine? Is that what you said? Yeah, I was I was, I was a nuclear submariner for many years. Uh, and I can tell oh, you for a fact that they're not. I, 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 I have a question. I just have a question about that. Yeah. Like, like, you know, I, I appreciate all, all your work that you did, uh, but in a submarine, um, do you believe the ISS is up there, you know, up in up in the sky? That people are are inside there, living inside the ISS. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, and, and you know, you know, like you know, all the pressure that that that's involved in space. It's completely the opposite of a submarine. I mean, but but they have nowhere, nothing like 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 a submarine is is protected from 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 the pressure that it has. But it should be equivalent to the ISS, but it's not. I mean, the, I mean that's that's a bunch of crap. Right. Right? The, 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 they, like, somebody's living out of space like that. Sorry, well, what's your what's your point on, there? Because you know, just, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying that 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 the way the the ISS is supposedly built out there. It, it, it's, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense that somebody's living in there and it's floating out in the sky out there and they're and they're living in there because the way the way that thing is built, it, it, I mean, it should be it should be somewhat equivalent to a submarine the way the submarine's built as as far as far as the um, you know as far as, as, far as the pressure. Just, just hold on, just why, why so that we're all on the same page here. Hold on, just so that we're all on the same page here. You're saying that the ISS should be built to withstand the same pressures. As a submarine, like, do you think that? Well, it's different. Like, it's, it's, I know, I know it's, it's different. It's opposite. It's opposite. It's the opposite. You know, the, the pressure underwater is the opposite when you're in a vacuum. I, I understand that, but but when I'm talking about the way it's built, it should be it should be somewhat equivalent to the submarine. Well, well, like, but it, I mean, it's you mean just, like right, David, nice. let, me why that's wrong there. let me explain to you why that's wrong there because the difference between. Like on, on level here, where, where we are right now, we're at one atmosphere, okay? Where the ISS is, it's at zero atmosphere. That's a difference of 14 PSI, right? When I was in a submarine, go down to two, three, four atmospheres. They're built to withstand that because they have pressure from the inside and, and everything. Whereas the ISS, it doesn't have pressure pushing in it from the outside. It has a pressurized environment inside. Right. Sorry, right, but 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 so, so there's, I, I understand. There's I understand no what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, it, it, but but it should be built equivalent because because of the, the pressure that I understand what you're saying. It's the opposite because you're going deeper compared to going up. But what I'm saying is the way it's built, it should be equivalent to 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 the summary. But it, I mean, it should have withstand something like it should be like. I'm sorry. 
Well, I don't understand what you mean by equivalent to a submarine. Not, the way it's built, because it should withstand. Well, it, it is built to withstand stuff. It, it's built to maintain a pressurized environment. Nathan, until you can get off your potato, shut your mouth. It, it, it is built to, you know, to maintain a, a, an internal atmosphere. You know, it, so it, I suppose in a way you could say it's equivalent to a submarine in that it's built to do its job. But it's not, though. Does that make sense? That's, that's, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. The way it's built, it's not. Okay, so be, how, how do you mean? Okay, well, it's it's not. What, sorry, I'm, God I'm bless sorry. you, go on. Gee, I, I was just asking, explain, explain exactly why it's not built to hold a, a, a pressure. Like, I think that's what Flight to Flat Earth was at the, in the process of asking yeah. as I was asking it to. I, I just want you to explain to me exactly what part of the construction of the ISS prevents it from holding a contained, like, atmosphere of, uh, let's say, sea level and PSI or whatever. I understand. I understand. From what, I, what I've seen, like the doors, they're they're real flimsy. I mean, they're not they're not even it's not even um it's not even metal. I mean, I don't know if it's metal or not. It looks it looks like aluminum or something, but they're real flimsy. I mean, the, the, where they go in and out, where they're so, going out to do like face walks and stuff like that. Okay. Hey, hey, let me so hold on, um, hold on, hold right. on. Did you did you literally just say they're not metal? But I don't know what they're made out of. They're probably not metal. Like, is that? Yeah, because I don't know what they are. I mean, I'm really looking, looking at it. I can't tell you. I can't physically because I haven't felt it. I haven't seen it like close. I don't know what it what it is that, what, exactly made out of. Here, like, but, David, the problem is what you're saying here is I don't know what it is, but it's not that. Well, because because, because there, right? I, I mean, it should be it should be solid. It should be solid, but it's not solid. It it, it looks like it's like a it, it moves like a flag. Well, it's that, that's what I'm saying. It should be different. I, mean, it's not different. I was compared to the Tesla, but, but I just wanted to bring it up because it, it just, what I've seen, it just doesn't really make any sense. Especially, especially like, like, um, okay, tell, tell me this, like when, when um, like, like the, the when they supposedly they got a, they got hit with something and they had a little hole, and, and I mean that that should have destroyed the ISS. That that little hole should have turned into something bigger. Like it's the same thing as happens. Well, that's why you know the pressure in the, in the earthing. You you don't think that they were maybe designed. To, to deal with things like that? Do you think they would put something it up wasn't. there? But again, you don't think you don't know. The whole went straight through it. The whole went straight through it. I've got to stop you with the ISS because you've just admitted you don't know. So frankly, if you don't yeah, know, yeah, I, I don't know, want I don't to know hear exactly it. What, but if you do, it doesn't make any well, sense. If, if you don't, if don't know exactly, then I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. Um, and right, I just want to go back to a couple of your other points because you know people have actually been looking into it for me. Um, uh, the PR release from the microwave company for the uh, towers, it was not a record, it was due to tropospheric um, ducting, uh, which is common in the Mediterranean Sea. Um, and actually the press, uh, the details from the actual company debunk your own source when it says that an impressive and popular range claim is 124 miles, the reader will discover that no assumptions are provided to support such claims. Such a, true, such a range truly would be impressive if it did not require the use of 2,000 foot, 600 meter towers in order to clear the Earth's curvature. Assuming the small hurdle could be overcome if the radios were operating in space, for example, the many microwave radios, including exalt radios, could communicate at this distance, assuming adequately sized antennas and no requirement for throughout or throughput availability. So it wasn't even a record or anything that you were talking about. They were literally just having a talk about what the antennas could do. Um, so... The, you know, your so your your whole story you there is completely. It, it wasn't I, I, I a record what, what or anything. The the the, the microwave the, the, towers. It it wasn't a record or. Um, I could send you the links to all that that have just been given. Um. Well, yeah. So that one gets that. Get, uh, it gets rid of that basically. But I want to get back to the the. Buoyancy thing. I, mean, I didn't mean I can. Yeah, I, what if, density you click on the link, is. if you click on the link, if you click on the link I provided, the one I provided, that, that's 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 what I'm talking about. It says it right there. 
you know, I've, I've been on that link and then they, some of some people have done research in my discord and actually given me the links to all the oh. debunking for it. Oh, so, so, um, more than happy to that what, if what you think, then that's true, well, then this, not, this, not mine. This, 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 oh, well, where's, where did you get the information? You got it off of where someone else had got it. There's no difference here. Somebody has found the link for me and directed me to it. This is the, the benefit of having being part of a community. You cannot discount this information because I didn't go and find it myself. That's not how science works. Now, please, can we get back to the and, density and, and buoyancy that. thing? But you're only, you're only listening to something that, that just aligns with what you think. I, I mean, I mean, we could Wait, do that all day. Right, I mean, I do, well, I do have to interject here because um, you did say earlier to go to the Exalt website for the information, correct? Right. And that's, and that's the link okay. that I provided. Well, that is, right, but that exact site is the one that debunks your particular claim. So it's not that we're just, cherry picking any kind of information. We're literally reading the thing that you told us to go and look at. And okay, it debunks okay, well, what you uh, said. How come you guys were reading but I don't? What, sorry? I mean, you, you, you guys have it, but I, I don't have it to see exactly what you're looking at. Well, then that just shows that your research is incomplete because this has been found within the time of this debate. Right? So well, anyway, I can mean, we please I get I to the dentist? Uh, I, really, I, I don't really understand why, tell, why tell us to go to an exalt. Like, why tell us to go to the website to look at it if you, don't, you yourself don't know what the su website says? I mean, this is becoming a common theme because, like, with ISS, I feel that it's not metal. You're talking to me, you can put me out, but you can't share it with me. Come on. Right. So, anyway, I've got a source. Uh, right. Well, sorry, you're not supposed to believe us. This is the manufacturers of the things you are talking about. This is the the website right, exactly. of the people oh, what, what, that make flowers. Why, why you get the information and you can't share with me? Sorry? Come on, man. Uh, right, anyway, look, I'm so, I really I'm want to get to the dentist. At... Thing. No, For God's okay. sakes, please listen to me. All right, I want to talk about why things fall, because that is the crux of every issue. So please tell me, why do things fall with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared? Go. Because, because of density and buoyancy, but also if you look at my, my last screen, if you look up um, what we're talking about, this is what, what I... Personally, believe right here it's, it's called the um, Bernal principle. All right, density and buoyancy. Okay, let's talk about that for a sec. Okay, mm -hmm. see this book. Right? Are you saying that if I, I let really, go of this really book, this book what? Well, let me finish. All right. Are you saying that if I let go of this book, it's going to go down because the air is less dense below it? Yep. Is that it what is. you're claiming? I want to clarify. Right, okay. Does it go down because of why? it? Or, or what? Are you saying that? Why what? Well, I'm asking, it, does it go down because the air is less dense? Is that your reason for it falling down, yeah? It's less, it's, it's, it's heavy, it's heavier, more the dense air than the air. Than the book. Yeah, yeah. The, yep. I mean, yes. the air is less dense than the book, right? But the air right. above the book is even less dense than the air below uh -huh. it. So exactly. why does it that, That's down? why I said you got to refer to the Bernoulli principle. That's why. That's why I said. I just told you that. I answered your question. If you if you refer to the Bernoulli principle, right? That, that's how exactly. Right. Wait, wait, wait. I still haven't finished. Also, if it's to do with density, as it's going down, the air is getting more dense. So it wouldn't accelerate. It would decelerate. It would do the opposite mm -hmm. of what you are saying. It is getting into a more dense medium. It would decelerate, not accelerate. All right. I think Kyle's got an explanation of what of what gravity is there. <laughs> Dropity. There we okay, go. Okay, yeah. so so I understand, I understand what you're saying. I, I understand, but if you pay attention to what I'm saying, is that it's not only density that's in play here, and, and, that, and that's the whole reason why I told you. If, if you look, you know what the Bernoulli principle is, I have a link to it. You can read about it, and it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Okay, it, Stephen. I, I mean, that, that's why I, brought, I put it at the end because I told you I'm barely looking into it. But from what I understand, it, it's the, the reason why 
for the the force is because of um because of pressure yeah pressure and uh and but if you read about it, it explains better than than i could okay well how is pressure created on on earth in our atmosphere how is pressure created what do you mean how is it created well, if you're saying it's pressure the is the thing that's making it. Air above our head. What's that? Nathan, are oh, you still there, are you? Oh. Um, right. <laughs> I'm going to ignore Nathan because uh, I'll get to the dome bit if we want. Um, uh, but again, how is the pressure created if there's nothing pulling it down? You, you, the, you said it's pressure. Where's the pressure coming from? There has to be a force to create the pressure. What's making all that air fall down, Nathan? Why is the air being pulled down to create pressure? Seriously, either of you. Why is the air being pulled down to create the pressure? And if you're going to go with the, I, 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 have, with the dome, I, I have the answer, there, I have the answer but, if, if, but I, like, I, I, like I said, I, that's what I was really, I was looking into it more. But um, like I said, if, you, if you're able to open up the link that I provided, it'll explain to you, help you understand it. All right, well, not, just a quick one then for Nathan, if he's still listening in. Nathan, you numb nuts. If we're in a dome, why is there a pressure gradient in our atmosphere? And David, which link are you talking about? My girlfriend's laughing at you. I saw the last page. Mm -hmm. And what's the, what's the, uh, actually, David, I can't, yeah, click, didn't think I can't think. click your links. So. Can you click on it twice? If you click on it twice, we'll go through. Okay, which one was it now? The, 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 the last, the last page. Uh, okay. It's, the, it's, it's just the same, but not applicable. I see. Nathan, you still there? He's still there. He said his girlfriend was laughing at you. Well, I'm I'm sure she finds me hilarious. I'm sure you're not naked. But she's probably naughing. laughing. Then. That's what she's laughing. <laughs> I, I wish that I was with him instead. Uh, um, again, I'm, I'd like the answer to your, to your, to the question of why is there a pressure gradient if we are in an enclosed dome? Nathan, any time, mate. I don't think he's gonna answer. Ne no, he doesn't like questions. As we found out from his Facebook group, uh, if someone asks him a question, he doesn't like the answer. They just boot him. Okay. Nathan, so, here's a tip. All right, like stop spending your money on whatever drugs you're taking and buy a decent bit of technology to do these streams. All right, so here's the, uh, uh, the Rinaldi principle. I can't see that. It's all blurred. Um, what would you like for me to read, David? Um, it's kind of blurry, I guess. Uh, well, I'm just, do you want me to just, it says that scientists utilize this principle to lift aircrafts against the Earth's gravity, but I am sure they don't really understand how this principle works. If they did, they would have realized a long time ago it is the same principle that uh, underlies the mystery of gravity. Uh, this principle yeah. would have become much more sorry I, I can stop this all right here um why does the Bernoulli equation why does the, the math in the Bernoulli equation use gravity as as part of it and here's what it says it sorry says I that, that was what we was talking about it says that this pressure it says that the pressure exerted by a fluid decreases as its velocity increases in other words as a fluid moves faster it exerts less pressure Basically, it's saying that the, the you, pressure, like if you have something, whatever, whatever's under there's increasing pressure on top. That's why it's pushing it down. Yeah, but where if it's pushing it down, there still has to be something pulling that thing that is pushing it down. The whole what you're talking about, the whole Bernoulli principle, uses gravity as part of its fundamental basis of what's going on. Fluid density and fluid mechanics and everything. It all, you know, this is all part of. What, what we're talking about, you're, you're using something to try and prove flat Earth that uses gravity. Please understand that. I, 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 I never see, I never seen the, the the formula, but I, I mean, I'm just I'm just explaining what it what it says. Yeah, but you know, it it utilizes gravity, right? 
Where's that at? It's the first sentence. It's Gravity part of what the Bruni principle is. Yeah. He like, literally says right here, uh, this principle would have become much more famous than... Wait, 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 wait let, let Kyle read this section that he's reading. Go ahead, Kyle. Um, it says that uh, this principle would have been would have become much more famous than Newton's laws and wouldn't have let Einstein's theories distort our understanding of gravity. Right. It's... It said gravity is part of what you are trying to use to disprove gravity. It, it doesn't. It doesn't well, well, see, see, the, that, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, there, the, gravity is not the way you think of it. Like, what you're saying is mass attracting mass. That's not what gravity. That's not what gravity is. I mean, there's some force out there. I, I understand that, but but there's no mass attracting mass. I know that. But well, you don't know that because there's experiments that I prove that, that it happens. Was, the Cavendish experiment? Come on, man. That's the only, only, only thing that you say, but there's, there, there, there's nothing else proved. I mean, the, 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 the Cavendish experiment is well, there's nothing and there's nothing the mass attracts mass. How about you look at everything in the universe that proves that mass universe, attracts mass? Come on. Yes. The in the universe? Are you, are you talking about the celestial bodies in the sky? That, that the, yes, they, they, weren't, they, weren't, they, weren't, they were not moving them. right, so they had to create dark matter? Come on. They were moving. They were moving right to what gravity gravity says. So they had to invent something that they never seen before called dark matter. Right. And, and, that, by and the they way, had to invent the way. Right. David, 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 welcome, 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 welcome David, to Scotty. Welcome to the show, Scotty. David. All right, wait. Right, just just before Scotty gets in, because this would be fun. Um, you're saying that they didn't. It didn't work right. So we had to invent something else. No, that's not how science exactly. works. And I've been through this before. Well, right. Well, that's what they did, though. Um, exactly. That's not how science works. But that's what they did. No. Hey, hey, they, hey! Come they, on. They, Let him finish. The next an explanation and a hypothesis. Right. This is how science works. I'll break it down on a basic level for you. I if I you know how it works. Four that's light, what they did. No, you don't. And stop interrupting me. All right. If you've got four lights and the lights are flashing yellow, 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 green. Yellow, 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 green. Yellow, 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 green. And that goes on for months, all right? Based on that, you can make the assumption and the, uh, hypothesis that it's going to go yellow, 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 green. And you can base everything on that. But then what happens if at one point it goes yellow, 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 purple instead? That means that you have to take in new information and develop new hypotheses and theories to explain what is happening. Dark matter and everything is the current best explanation we have for what is happening in the universe. And it fits with the model that we have. Of course, so, you make it fit. It made it fit. No, no not, not making that, it fit. It's the it explanation of the observable universe. It's the same way as saying with Newton, oh, he came up with gravity. No, he didn't. He noticed that things fell and wanted to try and figure out why. And that's how he developed the theory of gravitational, you know, the, the theory of gravitational attraction. Um, and that's not to say that gravity is just a theory. Gravity is a, is a law, it's a fact, but there is the theory of gravity, which is the body of substantiating evidence that has been tested and proven scientifically. That is the theory of gravity, but yeah, gravity whole, is not a theory. Whole, I mean, whatever you want to call it, though. But they, they, the like, I, like I said, gr the celestial bodies that are out there, they, they had to invent something because it didn't fall in line with what they were observing. That's what they did. They, they, they invented dark yeah. matter, which dark matter is not even. We can't see it. Can't be proven anything about it. They, they, they just created it out of nowhere. But and they, that, they, that's to they explain. Can see that's, that's the only reason why they created it was to explain why the, the, what, what they vision, what they see, and what they observe, they didn't fall in line with gravity. That's what they did. You can't tell me I'm lying. That's because that's how, you, that's how you observe the universe. When you see something happening, you have to come up with the best explanation for it until there's a better explanation. And we're, we're going to bring it they, back they to have, dark matter. David, 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 stop it. Stop talking over me, David. When I'm talking, stop talking over me, please. We'll bring it back to the most basics. I've just shown you that the Bernoulli principle and everything needs gravity as part of its function. So we get back to the why do things fall on Earth at 9.8 meters per second squared? And yeah. Scotty, if you're here, I'd love your explanation. Can you hear us, Scotty? I see that you're in the call, but I'm not getting any audio from you. Scotty. Hmm. 
Okay. Y'all go ahead. I mean, there's, there's all, also, also, I mean, they, like, it's not it's not gravity, but there's another another explanation. Though they all, they all say it could be uh, dielectric magnetism, but like I said, I'm, I'm not too familiar no. with all, all of the gravity stuff. So, so I mean, that's, well, that's I'm just giving you my idea. Dielectric. Dielectric. I think. No, I, I, I know it's, it can be. What's that? Sorry, it's, it's dielectric magnetism. Um, yeah, that is a thing. But um, from my research into it, the, the only time it's been successfully done, they had to use as much energy as like a, an entire city block to just be able to make one frog levitate. And it wasn't in a nice smooth fashion. This frog was spinning around at about, you know, 25, uh, you know, 1000 RPM or whatever. Dielectric magnetism is not something that can explain gravity. That's not how it works. Like, well, well, you well, can't just... I mean, it, it, because I've just that? told you how well, it works. The amount of energy required to do what you are saying it would do for gravity is... You, you'd have to tell me where the energy came from. I, I mean, they, I they, they tell explain dielectric magnetism as a weak force, the same way they explain gravity supposedly is. No, no, you're misunderstand. No, dielectric magnetism is it's not true. the same I'm as the, the, the weak no, you're not saying what you say. You're you're trying to compare that big thing to the weak magnetic, you know, the force of the unit. Ugh. David, you don't have the basic understanding here. I, I'm still waiting for an explanation of why things fall. Out, but I'll still argue with you. So even though you don't have any of the knowledge, you want to argue with me. This is what we've because, done on because, Facebook. Because I because the mass, the, mass, the mass attracting mass it, it, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense at all. That the, there's nothing that we we don't witness that we don't see that anywhere. We don't see, we like like maybe if I seen it then I'll be like, oh that, that that gravity makes sense, but it doesn't because we we can't see it we can't prove it. There's nothing about that. Yeah, well, look look at this mass attracting this mass. There you go. You've just oh, seen it. Come on. Oh, well, well, why don't you put it from side to side? Does that work? Well, there's a bigger mass underneath with a bigger uh, gravitational force. That's what that <laughs> is right there. Stuff. You said you were going to give me well, a challenge. Uh, so, hold on, you're, hold on, you're, hold you're, on. You're, you, so, you can't even explain gravity. I mean, I mean you're, you're, you're trying to say, but, but there's mass attracting mass that doesn't happen anywhere. I mean, you're, you're saying things it, that fall, but that's, that's, not, that's not what it is. Yes, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it is. Can you prove, can can you prove, that? prove to me that it doesn't happen anywhere? I need you right now, give me solid proof that it proof. does not happen anywhere. That it doesn't happen anywhere. I, I would have. Yes, but, um, a you're making balloon. positive that doesn't happen. That that mass attracting mass does not happen balloon anywhere. Balloon goes up. Where? Helium balloon. No, okay, that's that's explain that, that perfectly explained uh, on the gravitational model, if you will, yeah. through uh, you know buoyancy well, and all that other kind of stuff. Which I would love for you to explain buoyancy. David, I mean, you he, promised he, me he a challenge. That, that, mass, mass, but that doesn't happen. He, he, I mean, he wants to, you, you want to use density and buoyancy to explain why it goes up, but you don't want to ex use it to use it why it goes down? No, it's perfectly yes, explained it perfectly. That, for why it goes down. David, what's the, for, what's the formula for buoyancy? Come on, man. I already know that that dumbass thing. Huh? But look, what I'm what I'm telling you, what I'm well, telling you is, is, is that why why can't why can't it, why can't it work? Why can't density and buoyancy work for a helium balloon that goes up, but it can't work for it going down? For something for something. It going does. Down? Right. It do We're telling you that it right. does. But, but you're right. you're saying that it's gravity. It's not gravity. Density and buoyancy. Will you shut up? Seriously, is this all you've got? Do you need understanding and shouting over? Uh, okay, hold on, hold, oh, on, hold on, hold on. Please, I'm, I'm just, please explain to me. Uh, please explain to me how exactly buoyancy works. If you can explain buoyancy, I will give you ten dollars right now. I, I don't want you ten dollars, but it's it's very easy that the 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 mat the what, what density is when the mass is less yeah, less it has less mass than the old mass. He asked for buoyancy, not density. Well, and that's, that's just been a good point brought up in the chat, David. Um, right, you want to see oh. mass attracting mass? I hear Scotty then now. please explain drop lines from surveyors' equipment being slightly attached to the side of mountains. Real quick, let me do an audio check. Scotty, can you say something? 
I heard there'd be free cocaine here. Yes, there will be free cocaine. Just hold on one second. All right, go ahead. Uh, I've, I've right. used to. Sorry. Right, Scotty, I've, um, just a quick question for you. Please explain to me the second law of thermodynamics. I'm not a trans... Um, the second law, no idea, mate. I'm a, I'm a retard of flat earther, mate. How am I supposed to know that complicated nonsense? I mean, um, complicated um, factual evidence. Well, in, in your most recent videos, you've been banging on about the second law of thermodynamics and stuff, so I would just love for you to explain it to me, that's all. It, imagine that I'm a stupid no idea, stupid here, and I... Honestly? No idea, mate. I don't know what that word means, mate. Well, then, are you just going to be a I dick think, and not actually what? have a conversation? Oh, uh, are we having a conversation? Well, I've um, I've thought I'm cool, but um, I want to go over. I want to go over the scientific method. I want to go over the science, the, the actual scientific method, and see if you can pr improve your globe um, religious fantasy. I like it. Let's do it. Oh well, yeah, I've covered the scientific method. Are you, are you ready? No, are you ready? To, okay, so are, are you ready? Now, yeah. now you can either um, you can either try to prove uh, the curve, gravity, or the movement of the Earth, not only rotating but through space with the scientific method. Um, pick, pick one because you're gonna have no chance. Even um, not not only are you gonna have no chance um, even confirming any of them, but might as well pick one because you know it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty funny. Which which one okay, do you want to okay, try to prove first? Let's go with rotation of the Earth. Let's go with yeah, rotation I'll, I'll, of the Earth. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, what's your what's your observed phenomenon? Your, your natural phenomenon, all phenomenon that are not artificial phenomenon, any state or process known through the senses rather than by intuition or reasoning. Uh, okay, so that's not how the scientific method starts out. No, uh, that is out exactly the scientific method. No. Um, well, no, you, no, no, you, you have to come up with the no, hypothesis. Ask no, us for our hypothesis. No. Ask us for our hypothesis. Yeah. Um, actually, your Steve, hypothesis... You're do we'll, do we'll do it from the beginning, please. Well, yeah, but you, you need a natural phenomenon first. You, you, well, you need to uh, observe no, something first. The method technically starts out when, when, you, no. when you state your hypothesis. Yeah. No, you have to... No. Well, well, what are you trying to prove? Um, you need to start with your natural phenomenon. That's what you need to start off with first, well, and then, also, and then, and, and then you need to do alternative, and, and then you need an alternative hypothesis. No, that that that's not the scientific method. You don't what? have to come up with an alternative hypothesis. No, that hypothesis. is that that is the scientific method. You what's your what's your no, um really, what's your uh, observed phenomenon? Uh, what's your natural observed phenomenon that the Earth cur um uh, the Earth moves? That's that's the scientific method. The you, you can't jump on a hi hypothesis first, mate. You're saying the Earth moves. What in reality um, is showing that? Because we need your natural, we need your okay. natural oh, hypothesis. Okay. <coughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. That's the there scientific method. So, that that what, is the exact scientific the, method, mate. So, hold on, Scotty. Please shut up. So, so you yes or no? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right now. Okay. Oh, so don't get triggered, uh, mate. Calm Bob down, buddy. Calm down, mate. Bob from Globebusters did a ring laser gyroscope experiment that showed a 15 degree per hour turn in the Earth. So there's our experiment that proves that the Earth rotates. No, what's your natural ph um, phenomenon, mate? Come on. The stars in the so, sky we... moving as we expect. There's a natural okay. phenomenon. Okay, that's your... The, the sun okay. moving in um, the sky. Um, okay. Now, the how does the sun? End. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guys. Okay, now, um, okay, the sun's moving the sky. Now, um, what's your reason for that? That, that the Earth's moving? Like, you, you, you observe the sun moving the sky. You observe the stars moving the sky. Fantastic. You've observed, you've, you've observed two things that that isn't the Earth. Fantastic. <laughs> you've observed two things that isn't the Earth moving. <laughs> I told you, Carl. I told you that foul. At, at, at no, but, science 101. No, Scotty, those those things, that, those examples uh, that they give you are showing that the Earth is is moving because no, um, yeah. no, they they're showing the okay, sun's okay, moving so, and they're showing the stars you. are moving. Not the Earth, Carl. Right. Not no, the no, Earth, no. buddy. Scotty, Scotty, let me ask yeah, you right. something. Scotty, can I please ask you something? <laughs> Scotty, let me show. ask you something. Okay, so if like in your worldview, if uh, the sun is like of our solar system, oh, no, would you please shut the fuck up right now? If the sun is at the center, like uh, of of our solar system, and if the Earth is rotating and the Earth is orbiting around the sun, what, in your view, would we see from Earth? 
Like, how do you see? Okay, like, so I just want to know how your brain fucking works. So, so what you're starting is starting off with um with with assumptions. If if if. Now I want I want proof that um that um contradicts our observable reality because the stars are moving yes the sun's moving yes the earth um not quite not quite at all mate okay Scotty uh, <laughs> no, actually you're not answering my you, question you're not answering my question are you gonna are you gonna well, are you gonna continue the scientific on. method or are you just gonna yes, keep failing are. really and miserable I want you to answer <laughs> I want you to answer uh G's question and to to kind of make things a little bit clearer for you how do you explain that the stars move one way in the northern hemisphere and the opposite way in the southern hemisphere. Well, you've just um, presupposed that um, there's, there's a northern and southern hemisphere. Now, in order for, for, for there to be a northern and southern, he southern hemisphere, you have to first prove the Earth curves and curves so much that it curves back into to itself and becomes a ball. That's what you need to do yeah, first I've before done you that. say, yeah. "Oh, there's a northern and southern I, hemisphere." Sorry, okay, um, what's your evidence for? Answer to his question. Shut the fuck up. Again. I've already done that in this hangout. I've literally already done it. In Scotty, this it's observable that there are different stars in one part of the world and then there are in another part of the world. Don't deflect. Just tell us why they are different. And then we'll go to David. You're saying that like, you have to prove that the, the, the Earth curves. Now, what's your national observe phenomenon? Come on. No, We're using the scientific method, boys. Earth, 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 you, you guys have been, you guys have been obfuscating and, and you guys have been deflecting the whole okay, time because you I'm can't you use it to prove you your hold. nonsense. Do, a, do okay. another line. Do another line. Right. We'll put you on hold. Uh, David, do you have an explanation for why the, the stars seem to move uh, one way in the northern hemisphere? Well, 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 I'm sorry. I can't really hear you. What, do you, what was the question? The, the, the stars move well, uh, in different do you, do you have an explanation as to why the stars move yeah. in different hemispheres, different directions? So why do they rotate around the north point and the southern point in opposite directions? Yeah, the, well, the, the north stars, of course, they happen. They, they Everything revolves around Polaris. But when you go out to the south, they're, um, it's the you have that personal atmospheric dome where, where you're, you're seeing the stars, but, but it's not... It, I, I have a better explanation with the visual. Hold on, I can't even put that up. But in, in any case, though, but that, that, that's what it is. Your it's the the atmosphere. It's your personal your personal atmospheric dome, which it shows it shows things <laughs> different than in the south. What's that? Sorry, did you just say personal atmospheric dome? Did you actually just go with the yeah, the Jaronism personal atmospheric dome? My Does God! That like we each get one? That's what, that's what it is. I mean, are, are, are you, that's what it is. You well, need to see that everybody sees that. Here, we covered this. I've got to ask you a question. Where do we get insurance for our domes? Because I really don't want mine to smash into somebody else. Like, is there someone that covers that in case they get broken? Or GE, do you want to ask? Yeah, I'm not even sure. You believe a bunch of crap. Uh, which which, que well, which no, we, question? Which uh, question? Right, wait, wait, before Scotty carries on, um, Scotty, I actually, in one of my recent shows, I, I, I covered the scientific method, and um, I kind of want to explain it to you, because you, you really have, have no idea. You didn't explain um, what so, feminine was. Do you know what feminine right, was? Um, so, right, pay attention, because the scientific method is the process by which actual science is carried out. The process involves making conjectures, deriving actual predictions from them as logical no, no. and then carry... Bullshit. Scotty, Shut up when I'm talking. This is the what? actual scientific method, what? all right? It, it, and then no, carry out experiments based on those predictions to determine whether the original conjecture was correct. Although the scientific method is usually presented as a fixed sequence of steps, they are better considered general principles and not all steps are taken in every scientific endeavor, nor are they done in the same order. When forming a question in science, it can refer to specific observations. For instance, why is that ship disappearing bottom up if it moves away? Or the question can be open-ended, like, how can I design a spaceship to take humans to Mars? That's the scientific method, not whatever you're going on about. <laughs> so what's your natural observed phenomenon, Flat Flat Earth? You're still going on with nonsense, you're still not actually <laughs> using the scientific method, and you're still trying to... And the only reason you, you say, all oh, the scientific method is different is because you can't actually thing. prove your religion using the scientific method. Okay, anyway, That's we jump into another, uh, uh, another thing. Anyway, it's, you're just not listening. Like, you can't, you can't prove your ball earth just... cartoon fantasy 
You can't prove that I can, on and I using the scientific to. method. So, so, so you have to use bullshit. No, that that is not yeah, the sorry, sorry, lovely. It's not the it's not the scientific method, mate. It's not. You can. You, you I can, can guarantee you, you, you it's all the fun in the world method. with it, but it's not. No, I can I can guarantee you talking shit. Sorry, sorry. Mate, mate, there's fucking Look shit dribbling me. from your mouth right now. I could smell it from here. Your mouth is, smells worse than uh, a fucking asshole, mate. Sorry. Scotty, Scotty, you have got to stop at some point. Okay, Scotty? I mean, seriously, I get talking 300 words a second, but at the same time, you have got to stop at some point. Let's go back to David. He's, 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 he seems like he's a engineer. Did I describe the scientific method? No, well, yes, of course you did. Scotty just has his head up his own ass so far that he can't hear anything else other than the echoes of his own stupidity. He is quite the phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Quite the phenomenon. Oh, seriously. Okay, uh, anything uh, else that uh, you want sorry, to ask right, David. Of, of, of David or, um, or Scotty before? I'm getting ready to let Scotty go. Anything you else you want to say to Scotty before we let Scotty go, and then we'll, we'll wrap up with David. No, I think Scotty's bitched out. GE? GE, anything you want to say to Scotty before we cut him loose? Uh, you know, I really don't have anything for Scotty. I mean, every every time I cover Scotty, he just hurts my head. I don't know if it's the, the speed at which he talks or the fact that so much stupid like stuff can come out of one particular hole. Like, it just, I don't know. I, 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 I don't have anything for Scotty. All right. Bye, Phenomenon. Yeah. Can we... Okay. Now, uh, Fight the Flat Earth. Right. Or, or... Actually, GE, do you have any questions for David? Um, well, yeah. Um, one, one in particular that I have is that how do you, like, starting from the basic laws of motion, how do you explain the force that is applied to everything that goes, like, down? Like, there's got to be an explanation for that force, and I haven't really heard a good explanation for that tonight. So if you could elaborate a little bit on, on like, the flat earth version of whatever force is actually being applied down. Because, like, on, on the globe model, or, well, gravity, rather, like, we can mathematically like calculate the force of any certain object or the force applied to any certain object. I mean, we, we know it so intimately that we can actually calculate the exact amount of force. So that's the kind of quality that I would love out of the flat earth community is like a, a you know, some kind of mathematical description of this force that explains to me exactly how it works. I, I, understand, I understand exactly what you're saying, what you're asking for. And um, the but the see the the mathematical equation, it, it, it proves there is something happening, right? There is something going on, and, and it's the same thing that's happening on the flat Earth. But but what it's not is not mass attracting mass. It's not. It's not. That's not what it is. Then what is attracting? We don't have. We, we, we know there's a force there, right? We know something's going on right here. But we don't like like you know. I could just I could call it whatever whatever I want to call it. I, you know that's what you guys did call it gravity. But but gravity with the, the way they explain it is mass attracting mass. That's not what it is, because Matt, we don't see that anywhere else. I, I mean, you, you might think that's what's going on, but see, it's going, it. everywhere else. Right. See Sorry, it. can I? Like right I, now, I, my I face was... is attracted to my palm, but the force of attraction between my palm and my face is not enough to where it goes like this immediately. Right. Whereas the Earth is big but, enough but see, that, to that, where that. it holds us onto Earth. Okay, okay, so so like like if we, if we want to talk about the scientific method. I mean, well, gravity is is not falsifiable. You can't prove it. You can't. I mean, I, you could. I mean, we know no, something's yes, going on there, but we just don't know what's going on. Gra What's gravity that? is That's falsifiable. Mass attracting mass is not falsifiable. Mass, mass, mass attracting mass yeah, is not falsifiable. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. If you find a certain kind of mass out there does, that does not attract other mass. Then you falsified gravity, but you see the problem is, is that well, well, we have well, multiple can, can experiments show that show. Huh? Yeah, I, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. I, I haven't seen it. I mean, the Cavendish experiment is not. That's not credible at all. But we're we're out. Where else do you see this? Say that. Why it really is it is. not credible? Explain to me why the Cavendish experiment is not credible. It meets all the criteria uh, of being off, a scientific experiment. 
when they first did it, I, I mean, the, the measurements that they got have changed throughout the years. I, I mean, it's supposed to be the constant G, but it's never constant. Right. I mean, the number, that number, that, that right, number has changed. It, it's David, never was. It, it never David, has been 9.8. It wasn't 9.8 when we got it. David, please, let me, let me correct you there, because it hasn't changed over the years. It has got more accurate. For instance, I could say to you, well, minus 3.1. same experiment. The same experiment. Wait, please. No, I could say to you, pi is 3.1, right? And that is accurate. That's what pi is. But then I could also say to you, pi is 3.14. That is pi, that still pi, yeah. but it's more accurate. There's a simpler, okay? there's a simpler question they here, David. Changed the how, how but, 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 but the numbers, the physical numbers have changed. Right, I David, mean, you're, you not, you're not going from like 9.2 to 9.5. Okay. That What's aside, that? though, David, how do you explain the fact that we're able to make predictions based on gravity, that we have... Uh, th there are things that we can predict using gravity in an equation that it comes yeah, to fruition you, you, exactly you how we figure out a number that made sense but 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 it, it, they were un unable to do use that use gravity when they were trying to predict how the celestial bodies were going because it, it moved faster if it was just gravity other that's that's the whole reason what I was talking about when they had to throw in dark matter it doesn't it doesn't explain everything it didn't explain what was going on in the sky in what way it does though it be, because because okay so when so when they were when they were determined they, they noticed that the celestial bodies were going faster than what, what it would actually be with gravity so they had to throw in this dark matter to cut to to compensate for it because it was going the, the celestial bodies were going faster than what gravity would predict when you say celestial bodies what do you mean exactly like like i'm talking about like the, the planets and everything else. okay 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 there's there's a good let's stop right there so you acknowledge that other planets do exist no, I'm just I'm just referring it to something that you guys would understand. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, okay, do so you, do you acknowledge that other planets exist or not? Not planets, no. Okay, so what do you if if you were to see something like Mercury or Venus, what do you think that is? What what, what I have visually seen is uh you know they resemble stars more than more than a a, a planet like would say a planet they, they don't look like solid bodies. Okay. Okay. Let's say, Dude, let's take a step back then. I, why are you? I, why are you? Why are you saying something about the celestial bodies moving and that gravity can't explain that? Yet you don't believe in those celestial bodies, but you're willing to believe in that example. No, because because I'm I'm explaining to you what, what the way your model works. Now the way the way that works, it, it, and it, it does it doesn't even work. But that's I'm just trying to explain something that that talking about the heliocentric model. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that I believe in these planets out there that people could go land on because they. I, mean, I don't think that's impossible. Okay, so do you think they exist? You think it's impossible? Stars? But you don't have any. You see that they're round, right? Why there, are they round? Yeah, we, 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 hey, David, let me tell you this, right? We see some. Okay, so I why, bought a seventy-pound telescope. Hold on, hold on. Why can they Christmas? be round and us not be round? Round, round, round. I mean, you can't, you can't. If you're looking at a telescope, you can't see three dimensional. You can see two dimensional. They might be round. I mean, but I don't even think. Right? I think the more it's a sphere. Like, like, let's say you're looking at Venus. It's a sphere, right? You might think it is. We can't tell from from looking out from right here through a telescope. You can't tell a third dimensional. You can watch it rotate. You can assume. I, I bought, you assume like, that it is. David, I, David, I bought my daughter a seventy-pound telescope for for Christmas. Not an expensive one. Like, and you oh. can still look at Venus okay. and stuff like that and see okay. that it's quite clearly a sphere. What about the moon, David? What do you think the moon is? The, the moon, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's something in the sky. I mean, I, I mean it's, the moon's weird. But, but when, you look, when you look at it, it's, um, I, I know it's, the, I, don't think, I don't think it's a rock in the sky that you land on. I don't think you can land on it. Do, do you acknowledge like, let me that it's a sphere? Do you, do you acknowledge that it's a sphere? I, I don't know. I don't know because I, I you can't David, you can't you tell can from where we stand. It. It's only it's a two, we can look at it as a two dimensional object. You can't see a three dimensional object from where okay, we're at. Okay, so well, hold on, hold on. You so can't... how do you explain moon phases? Please explain moon phases real quick. Well, well, the, the moon the moon is self illuminated, and we know that. I mean, we no. we prove it. I know you guys probably don't accept it, but we we've, we've proven no. that. No, the moon is not no, self-illuminated. No. What evidence do you have that suggests that it's self-illuminated? Greater did prove the fact that the moon is self-illuminating. Why can what some you, of the craters... Why is there shadows inside the craters 
if it, the moon is self-illuminating. Those are little craters. Those, those are craters. Those are there's those are craters. If, if those were craters, if the craters they they let they lamp perpendicular from where we're at. That that means that they will be coming from the earth. If you look oh, at them, they're straight they're straight up and down from where we're at. When a meteorite hits the moon from space, it's traveling with such speed and energy that no oh, matter what direction it comes in, it's going to explode and cause a massive crater that is pretty much circular. However, you can look yeah. on the moon and see and many, many marks and scaves where crater, uh, meteorites have come in at lower velocities and hit the earth and caused those gouges that you like to and see. And you're right, David, but they to aren't a certain big, extent, it could totally be layers. coming from the earth when the earth uh, has been hit with uh, quite a few uh, meteors in its uh, in its existence, and who's to know if I mean, the pieces it's, from it's those impacts? Yeah, right, exactly. right, can I break? Can I break? Right, we, we've please, got to wrap give me the floor up. for one second because I have I have a shit ton of, uh, right. of super chat. So we've got to we've got to wind this down to a uh, a close. So it's time to make any last any. Last right, David, you about. go first because I've got I mean, I've got one thing to say about this, but you go first. I mean, I, I just I, I just go I'll just finish up what we were talking about. I I, I mean, like. You know, you know, because you think that there, there's, there's three-dimensional objects in the sky, you're automatically assuming it when you're looking at it through a telescope. But, but really, in reality, you can't tell if it's a third-dimensional object out there. You can't tell at all. I mean, because, because they put it in your mind that it is when you automatically assume that it is one, but you can't. And we've that's, seen that's the other side really of it, David. David, we've seen the other side of it. There's a satellite right now oh, behind the on. other side of the who, who, Are you talking about China? Are you talking about yes. China? Yes. Come on, man. Uh, have you seen that crap that they put out? Have you seen that crap that they're trying to put out? Do you need to get that, David? Hey, that's, not, that's actually Nathan. Nathan's not here anymore. Oh, is Nathan still here? No. No, no he was calling. He, that's him calling. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I see. Uh -huh. <coughs> All right. Uh, All right. Is, is, is that it? Anything else, David? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, you know what, I know, I know a lot. Like, like, so, like, first off, what, what I, what I wanted to actually say just to end it is, um, what I mentioned. Um, let's see, hold on, right here. Like, 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 you know, like what they, what they try to do. I mean, our senses are are accurate. I mean, our senses keep us out from getting, you know, uh, you know, getting in accidents or anything like that. Our senses are are really, really good, strong. You you can't trick your senses because that that. I mean, like a lot of people try to say that their senses are not are not right because you could pick them. But the thing is that that your senses are are what we use to to protect ourselves. You know, that's one of the one of the things that help us to protect ourselves from from anything, right? And and, and what 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 they try what they try to do is try to put all this information inside your head and it's just a bunch of nonsense. And that's that's basically what it is. I mean, it's not it's not that hard. It's it's really easy. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that they put out there. And in today's day and age, there's a lot of information out there that that just used to to distract you. A lot of information that, that that just gets you confused, and it's really not that confusing. It's really easy. I mean, well, basically, what it is is just straight, flat plane that we live on. There, that's all. That's that's what we see. That's what we witness. That's what we know. I mean, you try to put. They try to add on a bunch of other information to distract you, to confuse you. But that that's that's what it what, what it is. Okay. Um. Before you go, fight the fighter. Uh. G. I know you've got a jet soon. I'm gonna let you go ahead and say anything that you need to, and then you can. Um, you can jet out here because I do have a lot of super chats to get to, so I'm not going to make you sit through, sit through those. Okay. Well, uh, what I have to say is, is that using the basic laws of motion, uh, gravity fits perfectly within everything that we see and everything that we experience. And the moon is not self-illuminating. There's actually no evidence to suggest this, and no cold moonlight is not a thing. Uh, and, of course, when we look out into the universe and we see other spherical objects, obviously that means that our Earth is not special, therefore it is spherical. But we don't need that in order to prove that the Earth is spherical. But, you know, there's been a lot of unfalsifiability thrown in the scientific direction tonight. But the only one here without, like, w without a falsifiable, like, narrative is... is David here and the flat earth in general because their entire idea is unfalsifiable. You cannot falsify it. You give them good information and I know that I harp on this a lot but this is why these kind of conversations never really go anywhere and that's why I you know I, I like to just try to figure out what they think 
because to me what they think is more hilarious than anything that I can come up with. So I appreciate tonight for the laughs. And that's all I got. Godspeed, GE. Um, and uh, thank you for, uh, Cheers, for for joining us, GE. Uh, David, if uh, if you want to, you can tell, like, if, I don't know if Nathan has any last minute words, but he can use that same link to come back in. Um, it just, it his his reception or something died on his end. Yeah. So it closed right. him out of the call. So you can let him know. If not, um, that's fine. So Fight the Flat Earth, any last minute things before I start reading uh, Super Chats? And I think there are a couple questions for yeah. David. So um, we'll get those out of the way. Well, it's, it's not really questions. It's just more observations that um, I didn't have the answers to everything straight away. Um, however, with a bit of basic research, not just by me, but by other people directing me to the correct places, it doesn't take much to find the correct information about things. The problem that I have with this whole flat earth argument with people is that they don't really care about what the truth is. And I will give you not an excuse, but an explanation that has verifiable, you know, testable proof behind it. And you will just dismiss it with the comment, well, it's not that. I don't know what it is, but it's not that. And at this point, that's not fucking good enough. We, this argument has been going on for long enough that the flat earth side should have some kind of explanation for what it is. But there is never any advancement in what the flat earth brings to the argument. There is never any conclusive proof or evidence that anyone can go and get and find. And any kind of evidence that a flat earther or the flat earth side think that they have is easily debunked by anyone with the most basic ability to do research and have critical thinking. So you promised me a challenge tonight, David, but you have brought nothing but the flurf basic 101 shit that has been debunked by everyone, including me and everyone before me. So you have no proof that the earth is flat here and everyone that's watching this and everyone on all the Facebook groups can see exactly what happened. Okay, let's see if we can get to some there we go. chats and then you guys can answer these questions and then we'll be we'll be done for the night. Um, RapidX says, great show, guys. Love y'all. Love you too. RapidX also says, I just need to get an OMFG out because sun in the earth, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. uh, cleaner, Ben says, NASA budget cut strikes again. That's true. Oiler says, what is the point that this guy is trying to make? How does any of this prove that the earth is flat? That was from the earlier video. Um, only sheep can see. Says, Andy, please stop embarrassing. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Aterio, you are not the smartest in the room. Fight the Flat Earth is ex-Navy. Uh, Demonic Davro says, can you even math? Belgrath says, uh, tides aren't waves and the moon and the sun aren't always over the equator. That again is from the last show. Uh, Rapidex says, everybody quick say bulge. Uh, Violet <laughs> Engineer, how does the Flat Earth explain tides? Belgraph 1966 says, someone explain to this bozo that the moon isn't always over the equator. That again was from the earlier video. We've got two more and then we'll get to this, this show. Melissa Calandro says, uh, sing it, F you very much. Rapid X says, bulge. <laughs> Kevin D, YouTube is title. It comes in, it goes out. <laughs> That's just true. Sid, okay, now here's this shows. Sid Frito Serbia, it seems there's not atmosphere distortions to people. Uh, Aphotic New Zealand says, Gunning Thompson effect. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know who that is. You guys still want to do this? Hold on. Uh, Cajun Crustacean says, for the drink, uh, GE looks like he needs. And then Jen Morgan, why is it? That, why is Nathan acting like such a child? Can he relate to adults? It's obvious from his channel that he is overinflated. Ego is most important. Interstellar Artois says, is fight the flat earth debating? <laughs> somebody, somebody says you look like Ice T, David. That's a compliment. Ice tea? Yeah, they said it's the, fight the fire oh. the baiting ice tea. That's a you know what? Now I can't unsee that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need that, uh -huh. the, the, the noise. Dun, dun. What is it? The uh, <laughs> what is that show? God, Law and Order. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, the Athens 619 says, does Nathan not know how to moderate? You're not supposed to butt in unless somebody gets off topic or talks <laughs> over each other. Uh, says Frito Serbia says, why are deserts and lakes considered flat for miles radius? I'm not sure what he means by that. Mark Beiser says, David Munez, he equa the equations are right because they accurately described reality. Anything you want to say to that, David? That they, act, act, well, yeah, I mean, of course, yeah, I mean, you could come up with the equation after thousands of thousands of years of looking for something to come up with it makes sense. And the, the equations don't, I mean, they say what they try to explain reality, but it's not what you see. I mean, you could, you could make, you could make an equation to basically depict whatever you want. Only if it's verifiable and works. You know, n n someone couldn't just come up with an equation for something if it didn't work. I, I mean, they, they, they made it's, a, it's not that, Einstein made an equation just to say the world was, the earth was spinning, but I mean, they, I thought it did, but it, it doesn't. That's all, that's why, that's why everybody believes it because, because he can't even made up an equation that said it moved. Again, the equation wasn't made up. It was discovered. He, he made it up. He okay, made no, it no, up. Yeah, he, yeah, he's we, we've got too many of these to get through. We're not going to agree, so let's... <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, Stephen Steen says, um, our Nathan is the dumbest. Rapid X, a vacuum doesn't suck dipstick. Uh, Mr. Meat Lover 666 says, Nathan would fall to the ground faster due to density. <laughs> Amanda Garcia, two flatheads. If things fall due to buoyancy, why don't lead balls fall through a wood table? There's a good question. David? It's solid mass. Still it's less same right? the, the, But it's solid, though. I mean, it can't go through solid. Why not? It's less dense. Mm -hmm. the, the, because it's so, like, the air is not solid. That's why it goes through. Can't cherry pick which bits work and which bits don't, mate. And, yeah, I'm not cherry picking. I'm just telling you exactly what it is. We're not going to agree again. Mm -hmm. Since Frito says, <laughs> why is the gravity a force when Einstein said no? Who is smarter? Einstein to say oh my no, God. it's still a force and not a constant 9.8 for measurement. Right. Again, Einstein didn't say it's not a force. He clarified. Right. Saying it's a force is the explanation of how it works, whereas Einstein came up with the explanation of why it works, being the bending of space-time. Once again, gravity is the bending of space-time manifesting as a force within Newtonian physics. Uh, Parm Vrick says, if the flat earth gets proved today, I will quit medicine and figure out the law of perspective. Uh, congratulations, your stethoscope is still handily around your neck. Uh, rocket scientist <laughs> David's father, David's father worked on the SR-71. Uh, I, I guess they're asking if, that, if, if that's true, David. What, yeah, the, uh, with the SR SR seventy one and and also the the um the style bomber. Okay. Uh, they, That's cool. They want to know why intelligence and critical thinking skip the generation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Solomon one hundred nine says first fair debate for a flat Earth as of yet. Uh, creation induced uh, lobotomy says flush make an excellent case for. Uh, Oh, shit. First, make an excellent case for late-term abortion. Sorry, sometimes you just need to wipe this late. That's that's horribly. Ooh. Uh, that's harsh. Uh, same, same thing. Um, SSDG Falcon says, ask Scotty why he is why he is ducking Professor Games. Scrap the Skeptic Squirrel yeah. says, uh, actually, nothing. Thank you for the super chat. We've got uh, five more, and then we're done. Uh, Virilian says, Scotty doesn't even know what the scientific method is. Caro Genie C says, I'll give you 200 a month if you ban Scotty forever. Uh, we will take you up on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a deal. Scotty, you had a price. 200 a month. Done. Done. David, you, you don't want Scotty on your side, do you? <laughs> Come on, tell me man, after man, me, man, me and Scotty there. Anybody could believe in the You don't want him as a representative. <laughs> uh, who's your atheist says ask him to explain meteorites without gravity 
Also, I'm loving Kyle's background. Thank you. Do you want to try to ex ex explain meteorites without gravity? Meteorites? Mm-hmm. Meteors falling. What makes them fall from space? And that's the same thing as going with the book. I mean, same, same type of thing. The the media the media are wait wait hold on you talking about like the media showers or meteors that fall like to the ground or the media shower anything that comes from space into the atmosphere what's bringing it like when, when they come I, I, flying I past know, like earth, why showers, does it come into the earth media, media, yeah uh, media showers I don't I don't think they're, they're it's like a solid I mean this I I believe this is like an electrical universe and and those those are explained like as some type of electrical phenomenon in the sky. Well, we can actually watch them enter the atmosphere and then go find them. We actually have pieces of them. They're that, they're, the yeah, they're, they're, that's two different things. Like I'm talking like a meteor shower in the sky. That that's something more electrical. But when you have like a meteor that falls in into right. it, I, I mean, there, there's a lot of people that say that's part of the dome. But I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know for sure what it is. Yeah, but what's making it come into the Earth? Like if 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 it's if it, if it's like you say, and, and gravity's not a thing. When those things come flying past the planet, why all of a sudden? come into the earth you know we say that it's gravity pulling it from space when, when once it enters the earth's uh, range of gravity it's pulling it into the uh the earth but your method wouldn't explain that so how would you explain things from space well, well see, yeah see, the, the, thing, the thing is i didn't i didn't say that there's a force out there there's something going on there but what i'm saying is it's not a uh, mass attracting mass that's what it's not but, that, but that's you know my there's problem, something going David. on that, that, that's, that's my problem that, that's my problem is that you go there's something going on there's something going on i don't know what it is but it's definitely not that yeah yeah, that, that, yeah because do you because, not, do you because, not because, see how that is closed minded it, no because the, the reason why i say it's not it is because there's nowhere in uh, anywhere that we show mass attracting mass I mean, that's not provable but what they explain gravity is mass attracting is, mass I've, we don't I've see that anywhere shown, i've given okay. you countless that, 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 that's something going, that's something going on but that's not mass attracting mass it's not mass attracting mass. Well, what, that's not what it is. I mean, something's, you know? Know something's going on there. We know something's Again, going something's on there, going but on. we know that it's not mass attracting mass. You're embarrassing yourself at this point. Angry. You're just saying, okay. I don't know what it is, but it's uh, definitely not that. Really because insane. you don't understand it. It's not, it's not my fault that you understand. I tried to do my best and explain to you, but I'm sorry I did it. Sorry I, 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 I did a disservice to you. Okay. Uh, really insane. You doesn't know anything yet. Uh, has the gall to say it's wrong. That's what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. SSDG Blue Falcon says, why do gravimeters work if there's no gravity? Do you know what a gravimeter is? <laughs> gravimeter. Yeah, gra gravimeter uses, uses weight. I mean, it has a spring that uses weight. That's what they're saying that's measuring gravity, gravimeters. Yeah, weight is okay. you know, a function of gravity. David, this doesn't, this, doesn't, this doesn't involve you because this is from a earlier hangout that we did. I just didn't get a chance to, um, to explain this, and then we'll close out. Um, but there was a word used in the first show that we did tonight, and that word was bulge. And it got me thinking, um, if you're going to choose which side of the fence that you're on, let's say that you're wearing pants. No one wants flat <laughs> pants because flat pants equals no bulge. If you want the right bulge, always go globe. You get a big honking bulge right there. Flat, no bulge. No one wants flat pants. Always go with the globe. No. Okay. Uh, thank you, David for coming on uh fight the flat earth always a pleasure thank you for uh for joining us nathan uh thompson uh, sorry that you had those connection issues um uh, but it was uh fun as as always um and guys we'll see you back here tomorrow uh where you'll have me and mr atheist again and we will be going through a another video uh, also kent hoven has responded quite a few times to our video um interesting <laughs> announcement Kent Hovind will be with us next Saturday for a, mm -hmm. uh, a discussion. Uh, so uh, if you if you always wonder if uh, Kent Hovind was coming back, he has decided to come back, and he will be with us next Saturday. And the time for that will be announced uh, sometime this week. I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the, uh, the afternoon. So um, we'll see you back here tomorrow at 8 o'clock for me and Mr. Atheist. Once again, thank you to these gentlemen. And have a lovely rest of your Saturday. Well, actually, Sunday. Have a great Sunday. See you later.